class, let us all stand and put ourselves in the presence of God as we pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, good morning class. Before you will take your seat, please pick up some pieces of paper under your table and arrange your chairs. Okay, take your seat. Once again, good morning class. I am Sir Alfredo Bakhtiao, your teacher in grade 5 science. Okay. So, before we will go to our new lesson, please um, allow me to check your attendance first. Okay. Say present if your name is called. Very good. Perfect attendance. I will show you a jumbled letters. Then try to construct it. What word is this? This word is matter. Did you get it? Very good. Can you still remember what is matter? Very good. So let us recall what is matter. Matter defined as anything that occupies space and has mass. Okay, very good. In front of the blackboard, I have put their 10 pictures that you will classify according to their usefulness and their harmfulness using this table. Okay, who wants to answer? Okay, Mary, please stand up. Very good, Mary. Let us give her a five claps. One, two, three, four, five. You got it all right. Okay, so our useful materials are tires, can, glass bottle, plastic bottle, and plastic bag. Right, while our harmful materials are gel, powder, paint, fume, and cleaners. Okay, therefore our objective for today's lesson is everybody please read. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to define harmful and useful materials. Let there be classify harmful and useful materials and write the classification of different materials according to their uses. Okay, what is harmful materials and useful materials? Okay, our use, useful materials are said to be useful when they are serve their purpose. This may have properties such as durable, durability, flexibility, elasticity, hardness, and resistance to water. Heat materials can be reused and recycled. Example, a container for solid or liquid. While our harmful materials are, some useful materials may bring hazards for example, a broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substance may also be present in the things you commonly use such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. While our precautionary measures for handling harmful materials are, first, carefully read the ingredients of any product or chemical use. Second, purchase the proper personal protective equipment like gloves or goggles. Third, be aware of the hazardous materials you come into contact with. Fourth, follow safe procedures when you have handled hazardous materials. Fifth, handle store and get rid of hazardous materials. 6. Don't mix or combine hazardous materials. Transferring flammable materials tend to cause fire. 
And the last always, carry chemical appropriately. Negative effects of hazardous materials. First is behavior abnormalities. Second, cancer. Third, genetic mutations or physiological malfunctions. And fifth, physical disformations. The last, birth defects. In your activity notebook, list Five materials that can be found at your home and explain how you can use each of it properly whether they are useful or harmful. Therefore, let's go to our group activity. But before that, let us be reminded that let us listen carefully to the instruction of our teacher. Second, each member will go to their groups. Third, follow and suggest to your group leader. Fourth, take an extra care to the materials that are being used. Lastly, act properly to avoid conflict. Are we clear? Okay, let's go to your group. In class, listen carefully. You will be divided into three groups. You will be given different and mix of pictures of different materials that can be, can be seen everywhere so direction classify the different materials according to the usefulness and harmfulness so this is our rubrics trait subject knowledge it demonstrates full knowledge by the presenting the task correctly and with minimal errors enthusiasm demonstrate a strong positive feeling about the topic during the entire presentation are we clear Okay. Okay, time's up. All the group must present their work now. Okay, very good. All groups got a perfect score. Alright, let us give ourselves a very good and claps. Alright, in class, based on our discussion, what are the proper ways of handling different different materials okay Peter please stand up very good okay next how about you Mary okay Mary very good all of you got a correct answer okay class did you get it all right define harmful materials and useful materials okay John please stand up very good let us give him a five claps three four five now why it is important to handle properly those different materials okay Mary very good okay, class are we all clear very good. Evaluation. In the charts below, list down the 10 materials that you can find. Write down each material's usefulness and harmfulness in a proper column in the table below. Write it on your one piece intermediate paper. Very good. All of you got a perfect score. Okay, class, let's go to our assignment. List down by classifying 10 harmful and 10 useful materials that you can find in your house. In class, goodbye and